Hi, this is Amy from the Alte Store. We are here at Devons, Massachusetts at Alte's 8th Annual Conference, and we're here with Tom from Solark. Hi, Tom. Uh, why don't you give us a little bit of information about Solark and the company and the products? So I'm Tom from Solark. I'm the engineering manager there. Uh, our company has been around for over five years, uh, and we, we saw the need for reducing the cost of battery-based solar or solar plus storage because the, the, the reason that it's so little adopted is because it's so expensive. So we looked at batteries, we looked at the inverter, and we ended up designing our own inverter and charge controller system that is actually the most efficient in the world. In, in five years of business, we have never had a return, uh, customer return, so we really care about our customers. Anyway, we're a veteran-owned Texas-based company. Fantastic. So can you tell us a little bit about uh, more details on the product? So our, our premier product is the Solar Gate K. Okay. It is an 8,000 watt inverter. It is a transformerless DC inverter, so it's more efficient than the uh, battery-based inverters that are commonly used for off-grid like uh, uh, Magnum and, and Schneider and, and Outback. Uh, those are good off-grid but they're not as efficient, and, and they're especially not as efficient on-grid. Mm -hmm. So, um, and then they're also not as consumer DIY friendly. So we, we package the whole thing all in one package, uh, has a very uh, nice gooey color, color touchscreen display, and uh, because we made it DIY friendly, it turns out, it's so the customers can install it themselves, it also turns out that installers can install it much faster as well. So. So anyway, our, our system is the most efficient battery-based system in the world, um, and we won some international awards, but uh, it, the end result is that it comes down to saving the customer about 10% on in reduced solar panels and about 10 to 20% reduced battery capacity, um, and that ends up saving them money. Because of the extra efficiency. Yes, it is, it is very efficient. And, and uh, there's, there's different inverter technologies out there. There's, there's the transformer-based DC coupled systems, the traditional systems, which are good, still in use today off-grid. Uh, we have a chart that shows that on our website and, and maybe yours as well. Um, and they, they have a lot of good peak power. Um, then there's the new grid-based inverters that um, some, some newer ones out there uh, and those are good on grid. They're efficient on grid, but they're very, very. They're not so efficient off grid. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and and you can see that in the chart. The that when they go from the solar to the battery and then back out of the battery, which is an off grid mode or a time of use mode, where we're seeing a lot more of, they they use about twice as much energy or lose about twice as much energy as we do. So we're really we're really focused on both on grid and off grid and time of use. So can you uh, just step us through uh, the installation, exactly you know, what, what goes where and what is required and what's optional? Sure, so uh, as, as an inverter, we can, we can use, we're, we support anywhere from five solar panels to 36 solar panels or 11 kilowatts of solar. Uh, we can do DC, uh, DC coupled as well as AC coupled. Uh, with the same system. Batteries are optional, so you can add batteries later and just use it in a grid time mode only. Um, that saves the cost, um, initial upfront cost. The, the charge controllers are included. They're, they're 500 volt, two, we, we support four strings of 500 volts. And um, uh, let's see, uh, monitoring is included. The current sensors are included because we're seeing a lot more uh, need for not selling back power to the grid because the, the, the utility companies don't want to buy back power anymore. Right. Um, we're seeing net metering going away in a lot of places. So the, the end result is we're using uh, current sensors on the mains of the home and in addition to having a UPS or backup power source that's always on, we're able to sell back and cancel out the whole power from the whole house. And so we use PV during the day to cancel out the grid usage. We use batteries at night if they have the right battery technology. And we use the grid as basically a backup to, to bad mm -hmm. solar days. 
That's fantastic. So you've got the versatility to use it however your needs require. Yes. Um, the, the, the world and the grid is changing so rapidly and the use cases are all, all varied so much that we tried to make it as simple as possible with a, a graphical color, color touchscreen display, lots of features built in. And the end result is, when it all boils down to it, we're about half the cost of the Tesla-based solution uh, with batteries and, and system and panels. Um, and then uh, in terms of some of the other solutions, we're very, very, uh, you know, we're very, very efficient. Um, and we can use the system in multiple modes like zeroing the meter. Mm -hmm. um, and that a customer doesn't have to sell back to the grid um, because the utilities aren't paying them for it much anymore. Um, we are, the whole focus of our company uh, for the five plus years we've been in business is to get more people to adopt solar plus storage and be less dependent upon the grid in, in the most affordable manner. That is our mission statement. That's wonderful. So you've got different customer bases. You have people using this completely off grid. You've got the, the preparedness market that, that they're using this for just their emergency supply. You've got just everyday use with the grid, without the grid canceling out the grid, you really, you've got pretty much every, every scenario covered. So we, we're, we're, we're installed in residences, but we're also moving more into businesses and government. The, the reason is our, our system makes it affordable to replace uh, standby generators. Uh, and, and standby generators require fuel, requires a lot more permits, uh, natural gas or propane, so we're able to solve a lot of issues in in adding just a battery plus an inverter. So you know, not necessarily solar panels. So we're seeing we're we're replacing generators. We can offer a longer warranty. Uh, in addition, no maintenance and our transfer time. Unlike generators and some of the on-grid solutions that take you know several seconds and glitch all the all the the appliances and the electronics, we have a two millisecond transfer time, which is the fastest in the industry. So that's why we're being installed in banks and, and corporations that need to keep their, their servers powered all the time. So that's, that's where we're getting a lot of traction. So what's the voltage of the battery bank? Now we're, we're hearing about the newer technologies with the batteries that are at 380 volts. Uh, what, what voltage battery do you use? That's a really good question. Uh, we use 48 volts for a battery technology because it's very universal. Um, there are some, some solutions out there that use 380 volt batteries. However, that is, it's more marketing than it is reality because the battery internally is really 50 volts just like us. So those, those 380 volt battery technologies are converting the power twice and it's less efficient. It's it's two to three times more losses than our inverter. Um, so we we're, we're, we could have used 380 volt batteries. Uh, it's not very DIY friendly. Mm -hmm. um, it's it's also it's also very expensive. Um, so 48 volt battery, as long as it's done efficiently, is is far better than any of these 380 volt. Um, inverter technologies. It's not, the, it's not their inverter, it's really the battery itself and, and you can see that on our, on our comparison page where we show the, the battery efficiencies. Right, so let's actually throw that um, comparison chart up right now so you can hit pause and take a look to see how the Solark uh, solution compares with other similar products. So, uh, last question. I hear that there's special requirements for an inverter to sell back to Puerto Rico these days. Uh, does Solark support that? So, yes, Puerto Rico has special requirements to sell back to the grid because they, 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 want, they want to use the battery inverters to support the grid and not disconnect so easily, like we do in the U.S. So, we have a special mode for uh, places like Puerto Rico, like Hawaii and California, that allows us to support the grid and stay connected and 
be able to, to, to use that feature there. Okay, so that's Puerto Rico. So what about California and Hawaii that have their special requirements? So we're already installed in Hawaii on several islands. We, we don't sell back, we, we don't support HECO just yet. We don't sell back in Hawaii. What we do is we self-consume. We use solar during the day, we use the battery at night, and we zero the meter. Um, in California, we do the same thing. So today we support selling back in Puerto Rico because we meet those grid supportive requirements. And in April, we will support uh, HECO and also Rule 21 in California. And that, that will be a software update in, in Hawaii So and, and, and in California. So we, we will be there with just a software update. Oh, fantastic. All right, well, thank you so much for coming and thank you for watching. Uh, this is uh, Tom from Solark and we're at the uh, eighth annual Alti conference. So if you like this, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to go to our website at altistore.com where we've been making renewable doable for 20 years since 1999.